Huh? Intro? Yeah. This is the intro. Welcome back, guys. Or welcome, if it's your first time viewing. Today, I'm showing you guys how to ally with almost every faction in the game. Basically, all, all the faction needs is a human component. If it has a human attached to the faction, which most faction ha- most- most- oh my goodness. Most factions have, um, you'll be able to do this. It, it's not difficult at all. All you need is some money and a decent statted character. We've got uh, Sham here. I trained uh, I trained this one up using my methods. This was all legit legitimately done in game. I did not get the money legitimately, but you could get this kind of money this early if you tried hard enough. I just didn't want to keep uh, keep trying to farm money. I got to about. 30,000 using Big Fang's eggs, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to venture all over the world. I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna give myself some money. So that's what I did. Um, now, what you're going to need, like I say, is a human component to the faction. Uh, I've I found some fancy grass pirates here, and I'm probably gonna lose this fight. Probably. But we're gonna see if we can knock somebody out here. And then I can show you guys how to do this. So again, just make sure that the faction you're wanting to ally with here has a human component. This can be done with pretty much any faction. I'm pretty sure I've seen somebody on Reddit do this to Fogmen. So even if the faction isn't listed, whoops, isn't listed in the faction min window here, you should be able to do it regardless. Uh, for example, here's the Grass Pirates listed here. I'm at negative 100 with them. You are by default negative 100. We might actually win this. Negative 100 with the Grass Pirates. Now, I'm going to knock somebody out here. I'm probably going to knock all of them out, actually. This is going really well. Um, and then I'm going to show you what you need. You also need to make sure that you are not at war with the UC. Uh, where are they? United Cities. Or the Traders Guild. These two, basically. Uh, I think you can do this with the Holy Nation. So if you are at war, you're not necessarily completely done for with this trick. But I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure if you can do this with the Holy Nation. Uh, so I'll need to check that. And then maybe I'll leave it in the comments or something like that. We're doing incredibly well here. My goodness. Okay, now we're not doing so well anymore. The one Shek is uh, completely wrecking us. Oh, reinforcements have come in from a completely different faction. I guess we'll beat these guys up too. I could just leave. I might just leave. Oh, I'm just gonna leave. Alright, so we've got our willing victim here. We're going to use the one that's knocked out the most. And I'll explain why in just a second. 31, 28, negative 36. Okay, so we're going to use this one over here. I'm sure they'll chase us down. Uh, and then we're going to head on over to eye socket here. Now, uh, the ones of you that do know how this works probably already know what I'm going to do. And we're using the art trick again here. That I have a video on this already. That's just to escape these guys so they don't knock me out. I'm, I can't be bothered <laughs> to... Uh, to extend this video any longer than it already is going to be. I want to make quick uh, informational videos when I do uh, guides and tutorials and tips and tricks. I don't want to keep you guys waiting forever. So I'm just going to run away. I'm going to let the guards deal with these guys. Uh, I'm going to patch myself up real quickly. Oh my. That dude just got to hit 414. That poor dude is done for, man. I'm pretty sure they took his arm out. I don't know where he got hit for 114. It was this guy, wasn't it? No, Maybe it was that guy. Oh, no, it was this dude. Oh, yeah, he just got shot in the arm, I guess. I think so. 114. Yeah, that would have been the arm that he got shot in. And then I think he got shot in the chest. My goodness, that dude is very dead. We're going to patch ourselves up. And then what you want to do is you want to head on over. You can just uh, take this dude's stuff. Um, that way he isn't so resistant to us beating the pulp out of him later uh that doesn't really do anything for him but we'll take it off anyways okay you can keep those that, those don't protect him uh so we're gonna take our dude over here to one of the totally voluntary labor shops 
Um, and we're going to speak to the person running the totally voluntary labor shop. And we're going to give this guy away. Uh, you can make a little bit of money from this as well. 400 counts. It's totally worth it. It's not worth it. But we're going to give him away. He's going to take him upstairs. Slowly does it now. And got to be careful. Can't drop your totally voluntary labor force. Uh, and then he's going to shackle him up. Give him all his rags. All his stuff. You know, now he's got new, new things. New clothes. Fancy new digs. And then we're going to speak to this guy. And what we want to do is buy some totally voluntary <laughs> labor uh, labor people here. And this is the one we just gave him, right? So usually, like I say, uh, the grass pirates will be at war with you here. And so if we purchase him here, and he's expensive, the, the higher the skills are of the person, the more expensive that person is going to be. So be aware of that. If, if you're trying to do this with Catlon, well, yeah, you're paying you're paying the price for it. You're gonna have to have a little bit of cash on you, just a little bit. So we're gonna buy him here, and now that we've bought him, he's technically well, he's technically ours. So I'm gonna pick him up. Wonderful, you're ours. Thank you, friend. And then because you bought him, you gain a small relations boost. This happens with anyone you buy out of the totally voluntary labor shops. Everyone. Now, because he's still knocked unconscious and in a recovery coma, we don't have to sell him again. We can just drop him here. This dude will be like, ooh, free things. He'll lock him up. And we can buy him again. And the same thing will happen every time. So that's a plus four boost. Locked up again. Purchase again. Another plus four boost. Locked up again. Purchase again. Plus four boost. Locked up again. Purchase again. Plus four boost. You understand? Uh, once you've done this and you're in a high enough uh, state where you're happy with the faction, you can legit completely ally them. There's no limit to it. They will actually be your allies. Not all factions are good allies. You know, like you ally the Shek and they send reinforcements to your outpost when you're attacked. Well, you know, the Grass Pirates aren't going to send reinforcements to your outpost. At least I've never seen them do it. Um, I ha I allied myself with the Southern Hive, and they never once sent reinforcements. But at least you have them as allies, so you can float around in their map. For example, uh, I'm going to enter spoiler territory here. So this is the end of the video, basically, for those of you who don't want to get spoiled. Just click off the video here. That's all you need to know. That's the entire tip slash trick with this one. It's pretty cheesy. Um... But it, it works as is intended by the creator of Kenshi. So it's not like an exploit or anything. Don't worry. It's totally fine to do. Uh, plus, it's a single-player game anyways. Who cares? Um, but for those of you who don't care about spoilers, here's the next part. If, for example, you wanted to set up over here in the gut. We're going to just paddle on over while I'm talking about it. If, for example, you wanted to set up here over in gut, where all the beak things live. Well... There is a singular person attached attached to the Gutters faction. That's Beak Things, uh, for those of you that aren't too well aware. There's a single man. You can capture him, you can do this trick with him, and you can ally the Gutters, aka Beak Things. If you do that and set up a base in the middle of here, good luck to any kind of army that's going to try and capture you. And I'm going to show you exactly where he is. Just for those of you that don't know where he is. So once again, if you don't want more spoilers, please just click off the video. I don't want to spoil the game for you. The game is about discovery. It's about building your story. I want you to find these things for yourself. It's a fantastic game. And it's made, it's made better by not knowing anything about it. But we're going to go visit him. When you zoom in, something's going to pop up called Strange Camp. You can just wander on over. Okay, my, my character doesn't wander on over. Now oh, there it is. 
And there's a single person who just wants to be left alone. Attached. This is him. His name is No Face. You can see there his tag is Gutters. That's his fu uh, faction tag. Is Gutters. And guess who else's faction tag is Gutters? These guys right here. So if you want to ally the big things, there you go. This is your man. You just capture him. Now, be warned, this dude has a crossbow, an army of beak things, and pretty decent stats. His equipment isn't the best, but he's got pretty decent stats, you can see here. He's not an easy takedown. So if you're gonna try and capture him, be prepared to either bring a skeleton that, you know, can't really die to beak things, or, or be prepared to bring a small army to capture him. That's the video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. There's a lot of factions you can ally. You can ally the spiders, etc, etc. I hope you enjoy this trick. I hope it becomes useful to you. And maybe you guys can do some cool playthroughs. Uh, let me know if you guys do any of them. Like uh, allied to the spiders, spider world takeover. Or allied to the cannibals, cannibal world takeover. You know, that'd, that'd be really cool. Alright guys, till next time. Stay wonderful. See ya.